My name is Harry Ford. I am a fourth year apprentice here at the University of Exeter. I work for Lango Raw as a quality engineer at the Centre of Excellence for Modern Construction. My name is Alex. I'm currently working towards a degree apprenticeship with Lango Raw from the University of Exeter. I'm in my fourth year and I'm currently working as a site engineer on the Hindley Point C project. Civil engineering is a very broad subject that requires, at a micro level, a understanding of structures and the earth that will be built on below. Um, but then as you move to a more macro perspective, you're looking at the how a building ties all of the mechanical and electrical elements together. Um, essentially, civil engineers build the frame that then allows mechanical and electrical engineers to come along and make a building perform its function. An example of this for me, and something that will go on to affect UK society, is my work on the Hinkley Point C project. My work is entirely based around building the concrete frame that will then be outfit by other companies who will put in these huge scale turbines, these water pipes that will go towards a fully functioning nuclear reactor that will provide 7% of the UK's power. So I decided to do a degree level apprenticeship over going to do a degree full time because I felt that getting someone to pay for me to get my degree rather than paying for it myself would be massively beneficial for me financially. And also that coupled with the years of work experience I was going to gain from working on the job to help consolidate my learning was going to be massively beneficial for me in the end. Um, I applied for several apprenticeships and got accepted with the one that I wanted in Lango Raw because I felt this best suited me. I wanted to challenge myself by doing an apprenticeship. I always thought it'd be more challenging, but more beneficial for me in the long run if I could complete this. Since joining Higley Point C, I've been lucky enough to be a part of two major buildings on the site. I've been part of both the turbine hall building and also the control building. Um, my responsibilities have varied wildly through the last three and a half years. Um, ranging all the way from design changes to quality control on site. Um, one of the biggest elements I've ever been part of was one of the largest continuous concrete pours in Europe of, about, of around two and a half thousand meter cubes of concrete, which equates to roughly 5,000 tons of concrete poured in one continuous period. My current role as a quality engineer at the Centre of Excellence for Modern Construction has me assessing the standard of the quality of the precast concrete coming out of the factory, uh, identifying the root cause of failures and then coming up with creative solutions to try and mitigate all that, all the risks of that happening again. Um, I've had other roles on other projects which have been very different. I think that's one of the things that I like is that every day is, there's something slightly different, there's new challenges to overcome. I really like problem solving and trying to figure out solutions to these problems. And I don't really get bored of a repetitive job that is the same thing day in, day out, always every day is very different. I think for me, one of the biggest challenges has been managing the workload. When you have work deadlines and university deadlines to meet at the same time, it's often put a lot of stress on me because I really want to succeed in my uni. And also trying to fit in personal things that I enjoy doing is a challenge as well. And getting that right work-life balance makes it really difficult in an apprenticeship because it is a massive workload to take on. And it can lead to a lot of stress at times and learning to manage with and ha learning to manage that stress and how to deal with it has been a big challenge for me. But I think it's been beneficial that I've learned it now rather than having to learn it later down the line in three years, maybe coming out of uni then. I really like the Exeter campus and the environment that's built around it and the city of Exeter itself. I think it's a great place to study and learn and I think the facilities available are some of the best in the country. I've really enjoyed being able to come down to Exeter and have a proper university experience making friends that I think I'll be close with for many years to come. Um, I also really appreciate the Exeter being a Russell Group University and the prestigious status that it has will really help to promote similar schemes um, because I think it's one that's really worth considering for uh, young students, people considering going into higher education. 
in general, I think the University of Exeter has been incredibly supportive and all the staff there have really helped me through some harder periods of work. And I would absolutely recommend studying at the University of Exeter if you want to take this route.